Uh, there is a lot going on here. So, what I need to find are these pieces of that assault rifle. I need to head around this side here to talk to Claptrap. He's going to give me a repair kit. And then on top of there is one of the things. This Claptrap, unlike the last asshole, I mean Claptrap, unlocks that door, which brings you to another secret chest. Not really secret, you just can't access it until you do the mission. Whoa! That kind of took me by surprise. Imagine turning around in real life and there's that dude barreling towards you. So, Bloodwing is pretty useless unless you get those upgrades to the skill tree. Just keep on that, keep that, keep that. Okay, I need to kill him or I will die. <laughs> so, let's continue doing the... Alright, so there's one up here. And then there's one more over... Uh, not here, but in a... Over here. One of these. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It is a container. I don't... Isn't it? Maybe it's not. I thought this was the last one. It is. I think that might be randomized. I think everyone's... I think there's a set location. A set amount of secret spots it can be in. I like those badass guys. They give you so much XP. They're like the only ones actually like worth killing here. I mean, 49 XP? That's not really doing me a whole lot right now. As long as it only takes me like half a second to kill them. I guess I'm fine. Not a big deal. So the machine gun, I think that's just a middle of east. Thing. Yeah, I'd have to, middle of nowhere. I'd have to go all the way over there to turn that in. I'm definitely not doing that now, but Claptrap can have his mission back. That is for sure. And let's use it right away. Actually, there is one more area before the Iridian Promontory, but we are coming up on the end of the game. Thank you for the chest, Claptrap. Whoa, what is that? Static repeater. Okay, not that great. Pick up all the junk. Get out of here. It's funny that you need to crouch in and out because the door is made for a Claptrap. I need to sell my inventory before I get too far because I don't want to keep running back and forth so I'll just sell what I have now and then I'll kind of pick up everything later as we go on because there's going to be a lot of guys to kill in Thor's area above me and I don't want to have to worry about inventory space so let's get rid of all this what was that atlas gun? I need to know that's actually pretty decent that's not as good as the one I have but decent and we are coming up on two million dollars by the way there is a left way to go I'm going right right now but I don't know it doesn't really matter I don't think as long as it brings you to the other side of the uh, bad imaging what what is this thing like it can move you can see that is this just like a giant salt miner damn Hi, my gun shoots faster. Really happy I found this stinger. I honestly can't remember if I bought it or not. I think I just found it. Okay. And that just about concludes everyone in this area. Let's open up some free ammo. Uh, terrible, terrible, not that great, not useful. Okay. I only use survivor class mods. They're just too great, too great. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the ammo chest because at this point I'm pretty sure I'm full on everything except for my hold on. How much? Uh, I'm actually really low on combat rifle ammo. I don't know why it's not giving me any. Not that great, not that great. Most of the guns you find in this game, they actually have a generator so there's something like three and a half million different combinations of weapons in this game so yeah. Here we go. 
Here we go. Baron Flint's up there. It was supposed to mute the music and have some kind of theme going, but it didn't do that. Run at me, psychos! Come on, no balls! Oh, okay. I'm gonna use this. Oh god, not the grenade! Oh man. Those are really hard to dodge sometimes. I'm just gonna try and pick up every gun as fast as I can kill them. I don't believe that there are any secret chests anywhere. By the way, you are not supposed to be three levels higher than everybody here, but I am. So, yeah. Hans and Franz! These guys are really, really hard to kill. <laughs> So Hans and Franz are definitely like mini bosses that you can that that you kill in the process of killing Baron Flint. Um, and when you kill them, they actually open up these little elevators to get up to Baron Flint. Where is he? Let's use a double anarchy. That'll that'll get rid of him real fast. Okay, we'll explain that in a second. Here it is, the boomstick. So what this is, is a shotgun that shoots rockets. Really, really inaccurate, and more often than not I end up killing myself with it than the guy I'm aiming for. And it's kind of like the sludge shotgun where you really just need to keep shoot, like shoot it once. But it has exactly zero accuracy. So, really not that great of a weapon, but it's interesting to use. Uh, I've never found too much of a use for it, even if it is better than I think it is. By the way, I believe you can run on top of this. So if ever you're messing around with friends, you can just... Be like, yay, I'm the king of the hill. Watch my FPS go down to 20 while I load in this entire landscape. <laughs> and let's grab this stuff and listen to the angel talk. Who, oh, by the way, is a model in real life. Honestly, I thought the angel had the something. Crimson Lancer Never mind. about to make an unpleasant discovery and learn a harsh lesson. Oh no. No. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. Stand by. Us. Uh, I honestly didn't know that jumping down killed you. <sighs> so the angel has a plan that she. What the hell is going on? Has Steel gone insane? They're shutting down the ecosystem, and now we're getting reports of weapons fire all around Sanctuary. It's a war zone. Sanctuary is getting pounded out there. They're sending distress signals to anyone who'll listen. But if they shut down the echo, I'll 
I'll be unable to arrange for this is not how it happens. Can you see me? With the echo network down, I can't see you. We're flying blind, friend. Our window is closing. The vault can only be opened every 200 years. If it isn't opened soon, the chance will be lost. Our chance will be lost. Open the vault. Come on, energy depleted, recharging. So I believe that there is a higher chance to get Iridian weapons in the Iridian Promontory once we start killing Iridian people. Uh, oh wow, hold up. Oh, ammo regeneration, cool. So that's a very rare trait to have in these guns is it actually regenerates its ammo. Um, not usually accompanied with a great gun, but it's nice to have. So I think we just need to go to the Crimson fast Fastness. So I think when we get to that area, it will in fact unlock a speed travel, so then I can get back to the middle of nowhere really fast, and uh, then I'll be able to turn in this machine gun. So basically what's happening is the Crimson Lance, or whatever the hell they're called, are moving in on the fact that the vault is going to be opened and they're trying to get all the vault key pieces, which I think your player currently has, or Tannis gives you or something. I think Tannis has them, but she they, they have her locked up. So that's why we need to go free her. It's actually a pretty awesome story. I'm not really doing it justice right now. Interesting is killing someone will revive you, but killing someone right before you die does nothing. Come on, kill him! Whoa, that gun's amazing. This one's just more accurate, so it's more trustworthy when I need it. 500 XP each, man, this is starting to become worth it. I think I'll start killing all these guys. Truly, I love this gun. <laughs> oh, these Iridian weapons are my favorite, especially with the infinite ammo thing. But let's go this way. Hi. Hi. Alright, let's move on. So, the Crimson Fastness is an interesting little door that we need to go into. It's pretty tough to see the first time around. I'm actually going to explore a little bit. I'm wondering exactly, I think this is the right way to go actually. <laughs> Never mind. Can you see it yet? Can you see it yet? Do you know where we're going yet? Can you see it yet? Can you see it yet? Did you see it? <laughs> uh, the anisotropic filtering on this game for PC definitely makes this easier to see, but on Xbox, I'll tell you, I did not see this the first few times. Back door does have a fa does this have a yes, okay, so let's go to the middle of nowhere. Just kinda I, I really hate turning in this mission because truly, like the end of this game moves so fast and you're doing all the storyline and it's so exciting, but then you need to go all the way back to the middle of nowhere just to turn in a mission and it's just kinda like taking your head out of it, like, oh now I'm here in this totally safe place where nothing bad is going on at all. Here, let's check the vending machine. Is there anything useful here? No, yeah, just, that's actually a good gun. That's, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm actually gonna buy that. That's, um, this could be useful. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. One bullet less damage for a lot faster fire rate, more ammo. What's the reload speed? Thank you. 
honestly, I'm not going to use it because that right there just told me that like it's slightly faster, but this thing reloads so fast that it's just totally better. Okay.